Hi, I'm Craig. Hi, I'm Bill. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our video. video. Thank you for watching our video. And thank you for considering the adoption process. This video is here so that you can get to know us a little bit better. So for my career, I work in the IT industry. I currently work for a game development company. Uh, that happens to be some of my interests and hobbies right there. Uh, I always liked uh, gaming on the table, off the table, digital. Uh, so I got a career in it and that's what I enjoy doing. Um, for hobbies, I also enjoy getting outdoors, going hiking, baking, um, all of the craft kind of things. So I actually have a career as a freelance artist in my local area. I have a background in graphic design and illustration, and I have my master's degree in business administration. And I help out businesses with their graphic and their business needs, and I do volunteer my time for small businesses in doing so. Uh, my art career does play into my hobbies as I hand make my own watercolors and I actually do bookbinding as a form of relaxing. I come from crafters, so a lot of kids are gonna have some very fun and engaging activities when I am doing those types of projects. So we created a comic book together. Uh, it is a very fun thing that we do as, not just a hobby, but as part of our career. Mm -hmm. uh, I do the art for it. Yeah, and I do the writing. And that has us actually traveling a lot, uh, going to different places, meeting different people, making new friends. We also do conventions and a lot of other types of events because of the comic book. I think that we agreed that any child placed with us will be going on these adventures. Yep. Yeah. So what can I say about personality-wise? Um, well, I'll talk about Bill's personality. He's incredibly patient to not just myself, but to anyone around us, especially the niece and nephews that we have. Uh, he's also a very kind individual. He volunteers to do things for people, doesn't expect anything in return at all. And I love him for it. <laughs> I think Greg is a very caring person. Uh, he's always checking in on people all the time. Um, I know he has just the biggest heart ever. Um, he's also kind of the life of the party, you know, if you meet someone and want to make a friend in five minutes flat, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> well, I mean, enough about us talking about our personalities. How about you hear from our friends and family who are supporting us? He's my brother, so uh, I've always looked up to him almost like an additional parent. I find him very logical. He's compassionate. He cares for others' feelings. He's just a big heart, big teddy bear. Bill is very courteous and puts everyone first before himself. Bill is one of the most giving people I've ever met. And my son, I would have to say, he's very compassionate, he's very confident, he's gentle, hardworking, patient, and very focused. I am Craig's little sister and Craig's best big brother. He is patient, intelligent, accepting, is his upbeat personality. He's got a smile that lasts for days. He's got a great sense of humor. He's been very compassionate. He's very artistic, loving, trusting, optimistic, and humble. I think I have a wonderful, creative, talented young man for a son that is passionate, giving, generous, and dedicated to his family and loving other people. <laughs> so we met. Yes, we, we met. Um, yeah. <laughs> we met through a mutual friend of ours. Set a party. <laughs> was it a party or was it a deliberate setup? Oh, it was a setup. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my friends from high school reached out and I told her what was going on. And she was like, so I'm going to this party. You want to hang out there? It's just going to be a bunch of friends from high school and after. And there's a few people I probably want to meet you uh, that I would want you to meet. So she said that to me and she was like going to pick me up and everything. And what was your side of it? Uh, she called me and was like, hey, there's someone you got to meet. You got to get over here. <laughs> <laughs> 
but uh, yeah, we were together from that point on. Uh, we started hanging out. Um, but you also said that you wanted to move to Colorado. Yep. Uh, so we moved out here. Uh, we got married after the Supreme Court made the ruling. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. In 2014's ruling mm-hmm. for this area of the country, not the mm-hmm. big ones. So when we got married in 2014, uh, I had left my number just in case the civil unions could be turned into marriage licenses. And they ended up calling us back and we were on the news. Yeah. And that's our love story in a yeah, nutshell. That's how I met. <laughs> yeah. So we're here to talk to you about our community. Uh, it's a great place. We love it a lot. We go walking and hiking in our local area and we enjoy just being around. There's a lot of events and great, uh, just just a great place for family events as well. Yeah, I think there's also a lot of uh, resources here for, for us with uh, education, great schools, Uh, We know uh, many teachers and people who can help us with tutoring or any assistance we need with teaching. And uh, it's just a general good place for raising a family. I think the kind of parents we're going to be, well, I certainly hope fun parents. (laughs) (laughs) We'll probably definitely be uh, not strict, but basically fair as as far as what we will approve and disapprove of what they do. Mm I, I hope that we're parents that are in the moment or, you know, present for what's going on and not just reacting. Just basically being in their lives as much as possible, but also giving them the freedom to explore themselves. But that's what we think about ourselves. But here's our family and what they think we're going to be like parents. I know that they're both going to be amazing parents. I'm excited to see my family grow. I'm excited that I'm going to have another niece or nephew because I love being an aunt. And I couldn't say anything better than they're gonna be great parents. I believe that Craig and William will be fantastic parents. I believe that they will be supportive. They will be strong. I think Craig and Bill would offer a baby a very loving, warm, and wonderful home to grow up in and be very supportive of whatever the child wants. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. Or needs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Bill and Craig will be phenomenal parents, each giving of themselves to ensure that their child is loved, cared for, happy, and protected. We are really excited for them to have a child. Um, We're super excited because of the play dates. Um, Craig and both Bill have been really good as far as managing multiple kids. We actually even considered having Craig babysit uh, Coda while we were going to go to work. Uh, But obviously the pandemic hit. So we're looking forward to that being over so that we can actually have them over for more time with us and our family. I think the way we plan on helping our child understand adoption is to just be very open with it. At least not hide it, at least uh, explain it in ways that they can understand it at whatever age they have questions. Yeah. And uh, because I like making my own books and everything like that, um, I have a plan to taking those gummy babies that were at least that drawing style and actually turning it into a adoption story for for any child placed with us. Uh, and I think as they grow, we'll give them more information. Thank you for taking time to go through this process and getting to know us a little bit more. And also thank you for watching our video. And besides our thanks, our family and friends would like to thank you as well. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you again. Thank you for listening to us brag about our friends. Thank you. Thank you.